ChatGBT, why is Siri so dumb? What's up everyone? In this video, I will be showing you how you can convert Siri into ChatGPT so that way you don't waste your time with the dumb dumb Siri and so that way you can get all the answers you need with as much depth as you need. Okay, so we have one objective in mind and that goal is to get this Siri icon to not be Siri. But real quick, before we get into that, just 10 seconds, I just want to mention, I created an app where you can customize your iPhone like no other phone before. So essentially, you can see that these are different lock screens I have. I have a way to remove the lock screen time. The app is on the App Store. So go check it out if you want to help support the channel. And if you want your iPhone to look like an Android phone, there's literally nothing else like it. This is the app linked down below. It's top seven in the App Store right now. So go check it out. It's a big hit. Okay, so we have one objective in mind, and that goal is to get this Siri icon to not be Siri, and is to get it to open up chat GPT, um, essentially with the click of a button. So usually you click this button on your iPhone, and it opens up Siri. We're going to have to click a button on our phone, um, so that way it opens up chat GPT instead. So this could be really cool. We're going to want this app. We're not going to want to have it on your home screen. We're going to want to have it installed. The app will be linked down below in the description. So this app is very specific. You're going to need this app for everything to work. Next thing you're going to want to do, we're going to make a custom Siri shortcut. We'll get into this in a little bit. All you need to do is tap on the plus button and then just tap on this button right here to open an app. Tap on app and the app is actually called Genie. Here we go, Genie right here. So you can see it says open app genie and then that's it do done so now when we click on the shortcut it's going to open the app but we want to get it so that way when we activate siri it opens chat gpt it doesn't do siri so how do we do that well we need to change the quick toggles for siri to something else so here's what we do we're going to go to our iphone settings and from our settings we're going to go to accessibility or go to touch scroll down tap on back tap where it says double tap make sure that that is set to a siri shortcut but we don't have the siri shortcut named so ours is just called open app one you can see the the name right here so we're just going to go with that so our series shortcut is this one open app one we're going to select it to that so now when we double tap the back of our iphone it will activate chat gpt so check it out so the first time we do it it's not going to work because it's going to ask us to pay we're not doing that so click the skip button up here boom we don't want to do that and once you click on start you just leave it like this and once it's open you just leave it so notice how with siri i click the side button and then I get Siri. Well, what we're gonna do is we're now gonna double tap the back of our iPhone and we're gonna get chat GPT. So check this out like that. And we can just ask it a question. So we just do ask new question, yes. And we're not gonna type anything. We're just gonna activate like it's Siri, tap the little microphone here, and I'm gonna ask it to write me an essay. Write me an essay on how we went to the moon. The journey to the moon was a remarkable declared that the United States would put a man on the... All right, we get the point. Anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, peace.